All right, good evening, everyone, um, and welcome to the special council meeting of August 19th, 2020. And uh, Judy, if you could uh, open us up by calling the roll, please. Yes, Housh. I'm here. McQueen. Here. Stokes. Here. Curlis. Here. Also present is uh, Village Solicitor Brian Parcels, Village Manager Josue Salmaron. Okay. Uh, do we need to mention uh, Attorney Bruner as well? Is, is Attorney Bruner here or? I, I just joined I saw him. Oh, oh yeah, there he is. There we go. And my, I had to unmute my uh, unmute my uh, uh, microphone. So. And it looks like Mr. Quinn is here too. Yes, I'm my sorry, partner, Mr. Quinn is here as well. Okay, great. There we go. Okay. Um, so uh, I'd like to entertain a motion to go into executive session for the purpose of potential litigation. So move. move that. Second. Okay. All right. Okay. Housh. Yes. McQueen. Yes. Stokes. Yes. Curlis. Yes. You are in session. Quick question. Do you want me in or out of the session? Um, you can be in. Okay, I, I would like to, if you can throw me in that room with you. <laughs> uh, good evening. Uh, we have uh, already begun this special meeting of council, and uh, we just exited our executive session. And um, so for uh, anyone that's listening now or later, uh, I'm going to let our village solicitor summarize anything she thinks is appropriate and then um, have any discussion that we need to have. Good evening. We did uh, engage in some discussion about defense of the charter amendment regarding non citizen voters, and council does have some topics to consider. Uh, we did discuss several uh, possible avenues for this particular topic um, in terms of legal strategy and no decision will be made this evening. Uh, so we, I'm not asking for action on the uh, resolution that was tabled at the last regular meeting, but we do anticipate the need for another executive session at the next regular meeting to continue the discussion and deliberation on that. So I guess I will add um, one of the things that has become clear is that um, the village has uh, a very strong case. Uh, we understand the sensitivities, uh, uh, you know, in terms of um, taxpayer dollars and uh, being aware of our budget. We also understand how important it is to protect our home rule powers and um, the interest of our voters. Uh, but we are going to be very careful about how we move forward and, and how we contemplate this. Um, that being said, um, I think our community members and certainly council share the fact that we are not going to be bullied by uh, anyone on the state level, uh, especially for personal and political gains. And uh, we now have a better perspective of why Secretary of State LaRose uh, would like to uh, get a lot of press and, and sound bites uh, to the detriment of Yellow Springs, which is very unfortunate, but not something that's new to our community or certainly not new uh, in this political context. Um, so I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't know if any other council members would like to make any comments. Well, uh, it was my understanding, and Brian, you can correct me if I'm wrong, that when we started this, we had indicated we were not going to be spending any money on this. Am I wrong about that? Uh, I think, uh, I, I certainly said that our plan was not to um, spend taxpayer dollars uh, to defend this. Um, and, and I've reiterated that, that um, I'm not sure that all council members, uh, we didn't vote on it or anything, but, but that's something I've said for sure. Yeah, I, I guess I would just say, I'm, I'm, I mean, I, I feel like I'm hearing the reasons to do it. 
And I have to say, I'm wary of it, of doing it for the two, not only because of the money, but uh, just because it, this was not initiated by uh, citizens as far, or, or non-citizens, as far as I'm concerned, it was initiated by council and it did pass, but um, I don't know. It's just, I'm not sure that it's worth uh, fighting the fight for sort of for the principle of it. I mean, I'm, I'm open to thinking about it, but that's sort of where I, what I'm thinking. Okay, thanks, Marianne. Uh, Kevin, did you want to say anything? Yeah, well, I, um, as I alluded to in the executive session, I think we have a strong case. Uh, I think we ultimately, because of um, uh, you know the current era in which we live, I think we, at the end of the day, owe it to um, the the village constituency to do the right thing. Um, um, you know, in light of the, what we think of as the wrong thing being done to us. I think we owe it, uh, even if we're doing it just for one or a few citizens. Um, there is the principle, and then there is the possibility of larger issues coming down the road. Um, I think uh, the, the do nothing approach is fraught with the fact that we have no guarantees about what will happen in Columbus. Uh, in the near term, LaRose is going to be in office through 2022 mm -hmm. and is eligible for a second term through 2026. Um, you know, so if we do nothing, we're liable to be stuck uh, where we are in, in a bad place for uh, most of the rest of the decade. So, um, you know, there, was, there were comments made on a different point, um, and, and I will submit uh, that Laura and Lisa in their letter made a, a an interesting point about the fact that we, you know, haven't spent the money that we would have spent, uh, for, at least on the police side of things, with, with uh, well, and other operational aspects because we didn't have street fair, you know. So there, you know, you could carve out a few pennies here and there, saying here's money that we had planned to spend and didn't spend. But barring that, I think based on the merits of the case, I, I suspect, being the optimist that I am, that we could move forward and not end up spending a lot of money. So, principal or otherwise, I'm I'm interested in in representing ourselves in a positive manner. All right, thanks, Kevin. Uh, Laura, um, my thoughts reflect Mary Ann's, um, and I I do as the lawyer. I'm kind of feeling like this this will be a five figure effort if we tried to pursue it in court. Uh, with that said, I think the principles are strong. I, I've always believed in home in the home rule, which has been eroded over time uh, for political reasons to the detriment of municipalities. So I guess I'm putting out a call to the universe that if there's a funder, donor, interest groups who might be interested in helping us if the money appeared and wasn't with uh, taxpayer money from the village that I would be way more interested in pursuing the litigation that would be necessary to vindicate the uh, rights here. Um, so we have time. Fortunately, I think we learned we have time. So um, I would be willing to let the, that idea percolate out there for 30, 60 days and see what happens if the money comes in. And the amount of money would be somewhere in the fifteen dollars to $20,000 range, I think. Um, so that's the kind of money that would have to come in to pursue this. Um, so I, I think it's too bad that we're not even uh, able to you know, register people ourselves locally and issue a paper ballot for each, for it, local issues only, local candidates only. But that's the what the Secretary of State feels for his own political reasons at the moment. So I, I have the fight in me. It's just we need the buckaroonies to do it. <laughs> yep. Thanks, Laura. Um, Josue, Brianne, any other comments before we wrap this up? Nothing from me. Okay. And from me, Brian. Okay. 
Um, all right. So, uh, you know, as uh, Laura indicated, uh, and Brianne as well, we have um, some time to percolate on this. Uh, and um, I will say uh, support has been coming forward. Uh, um, lawyers giving us some time pro bono to discuss this. And um, we're going to, we're going to, we are going to do the right thing and we're going to be sensitive to budgetary and other concerns of our citizens. So with that, um, I will entertain a motion to adjourn this special meeting. So move. move we adjourn. Okay. Second. All right. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 And uh, stay tuned for the town hall, which will be coming up in five minutes.